Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. So today's wig that I'm going to be styling is a real clear lace 13 by 6 deep parting lace front wig. It's totally undetectable and it's supposed to blend with many skin tones. So this wig will be glued down today even though you can wear it with a glueless install meaning you don't need to wear glue. I have already pre-styled this wig with some beautiful curls. This is a body wave texture and as you can see just styling it up with doing nothing into it at all except for adding the curls it looks absolutely amazing um, this wig is very friendly to beginners just because you don't need to do much to it you get a deep parting so with this wig it does come with a pre-plucked hairline lightly bleached knots and of course this is the natural color of the hair but it can be bleached and dye if you want to I decided to get this wig in a 20 inch. I think it's the perfect length if you want to just get a little bit of length but also keep it natural looking. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just remove this extra lace. Now with the clear lace, it's very undetectable on a lot of skin tones so you don't need to worry about blending it with your skin if you um, are darker or lighter. And you'll see as soon as I remove this extra lace how natural this hairline looks before I even install it, which is awesome. Um, you want to make sure before you use any wig glue your hairline is pushed back or styled. That way you won't have a messy wig install. Before we get into the wig install, I want to show you all the glue that I'm going to be using for today's install. This glue is called It Holds. It's basically a roll-on wig adhesive. The ball here, we get two fluid ounce of product. It's supposed to give you an easy application. It's for oily and dry skin. It won't stain and it also is gentle on the skin. This is non-toxic. It removes with soap and water. Great because a lot of time the wig adhesives can be very difficult to remove. It's great for lace wigs or toupees. Went on and removed the lace. If you wanted to know how to do your wig application with the lace already cut, you can see how to do it in today's video. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and push this hairline back and then apply the glue. My nozzle, I guess because I've already used it, the ball is not rolling as gentle. So I'm gonna just take my finger and to loosen up the ball a little bit. I don't know if you guys see that. I'm just trying to go like this to kind of get the product on there. So this is very simple. Once you get the product going, you just take the adhesive bottle and roll it around your forehead until you get the desired amount of adhesive. You can do one to two layers if you like, but really with this particular glue, I kind of just like to do one thick layer with it um, just because of the way it dries. I am going to take a dryer to it until it becomes non-sticky, but more of a dry tacky type of feel. And now I'm going to go ahead and place the hairline down over top of the glue. Now, the one thing I really like about this wig application is once I put this hairline on top of that glue, the hairline melts so well. And not only that, the glue is not messy. So as you can see, it looks very clean. Now you wanna make sure you press it down just a little bit. I'm using a comb and just brushing the hairline back and pressing the lace, getting rid of little pieces that may stick up. But so far you all can see how clean this wig application is. Like the hairline looks amazing and also the glue is not really messy. It has a little bit of shine, but not too much. So once I have it set where I need it to be set, I am going to tie it down with the sleigh band just because at this point right now it's not set the glue is not ready so you want to let this sit for at least 20 minutes or so or maybe a little bit longer just to let that glue have time to settle um, i am going to go back with my curling iron and just touch up this wig because the curls were sitting for a little bit so uh, they are a little flat so i'm just refreshing the curls So 
I did touch up the hair a little bit with some curls because I had already pre-styled this wig before this video. So I just kind of touched up a little bit. Now with this glue, I definitely would recommend once you put it on your skin, you don't want to apply your wig down when it's like that. You want to wait till it become tacky, like not so stringy type of feel, if that makes sense. So let it sit for at least five to 10 minutes before you go to put your wig onto that glue. I'm going to let this sit completely all together for 30 minutes just because I did try this glue before without letting it dry and it took my sleigh band off and it was a mess, okay? So I don't want that this time. As you can see, I tied it down with the sleigh band. This is gonna stay on for at least 30 minutes before I remove it. And it's not really a process process because if your wig was not already, you can just go ahead and curl your hair and by the time you are finished with that, then your application should be ready. Now, I can tell you firsthand that this does remove very well with just water. It's a good hold, but to me, Unless you let it cure correctly, it may not make it through two days. But right now we're just testing out the application to kind of see what it's going to be like, what the hairline is going to look like. Is it going to be seamless? Is it going to be flawless? I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. Again, I did take the dryer to it on and off. I'm gonna be gentle when I release this band and just make sure not to snatch it off. Um, this is a bit more sticky than the wig adhesive spray. So if you are using a sleigh band, just be careful. Oh, it did come off like this a little bit. So I will have to clean this off. Um, with the wig sprays, they don't leave this type of residue, not for me at least. After about 15 minutes, it's still decent. It looks really good. Um, I'm most likely gonna tie it back down after this video, just so it can stay. But gosh, look at this hair. It's This hair is so gorgeous. I will be sure to put this wig down below in the description box with a discount. I will also link this wig glue below. It's called It Holds. As far as what I think about this actual glue, I feel like it's very convenient. I love the whole idea. It's very innovative to make it into like a rolling form. That way you don't have to squeeze and squeeze. The only downside is that I haven't used this in about two weeks. So when I did go to use it, the ball was a bit, you know, stuck. However, all I did was kind of use my finger and roll it and squeeze at the same time when I started applying it to the hairline. So it wasn't a big deal, now, but usually if I have wig glues, I'll put a little oil in the top to keep it from sticking. But yeah, I think everything turned out really pretty. I love it. The hold for this glue is very comfortable. I don't feel like it's tight. I don't feel like tight feeling. I did not use much of it. I did two to three rolls across the forehead, as you guys seen. But yeah, look. Like this is what the hairline looks like. Okay. All right, so I will be sure to put this wig below and it's glue. Be sure to check it out, you guys. Let me know what you think about it. Come back to this video. And also, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you all back in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and comment below and I will see you back.